Hey guys, and welcome back to another one. And today I've got here with me the Zixel Powerline Adapter Kit, which in this particular case is the Gigabit model. So if you are looking for something faster than Wi-Fi, and if you want to avoid having cables running around your house, then this might be an interesting product for you. And if that's so, I'll see you in a few seconds. And we are back. So before we start, all of this here on the table does not come included on the package. This is something that I want to refer during the video, which I consider important. But let's focus on the Zixel Powerline adapters. And for that, let's start with the unboxing experience, which is very simple and very straightforward. So you will find two adapters, which you already saw on screen, two Ethernet cables, a quick start guide and some uh, documentation included which on my opinion you will not be using this is a plug-and-play device so you won't be needing to read anything but that's my opinion now regarding the installation that is very easy as well all you have to do is plug the adapter or the first adapter to the wall socket connect a ethernet cable to that adapter and the other end of that ethernet cable to your router or switch and that's the first step done now the second step you will have to connect uh, the second adapter on the room that you, or the division of your house or office that you want to have access to your network or internet uh, and all you have to do is plug that adapter plug a ethernet cable and after that plug the the other end of the ethernet cable to a computer or a smart tv or any android tv box or whatever you want to use as a device to capture the signal so once that it's done we are ready to start and now that we are ready to start and on my particular case i'm using the uh, macbook pro for the tests and let's see the tests that uh, i made so i did uh, made wi-fi tests so we can have a chart of comparison wi-fi and then i did connect a another set of older um, power line adapters which are half of the speed of this one uh, and then we i tested out the zixel I also tested out direct connection to the router with this accessory here so I could um, see the difference and I also tested out directly the iMac uh, to the router so I could have a comparison to see if this was a bottleneck or not. So let's move on to the speed tests and see if it is worth it or not. So the first test on Wi-Fi using uh, speed test we got as you can see on screen 12 megabits of downloads and 12 megabits of upload and I also used an application which I forgot to mention but I will mention now which is iPerf and if you never heard of it just browse on Google because we're not going to waste time here it is a great tool that you can use to uh, test your network internal network not your connection to your ESP but your internal network uh, without being bottlenecked by your internet connection so basically what we do is set up a server which in my case I use my Windows machine and then um, as a client using my Mac and of course using the iMac as well so using that test the first result that I got on Wi-Fi I did got 12 megabits of uh, bandwidth up and down so <laughs> no surprises here passing to the uh, power line adapters with half of the speed of the Zixel uh, we got 56 megabits of uploads and 20 megabits of um, sorry 56 of downloads and 20 megabits of uploads and on iperf we got 55 megabits of bandwidth so no surprises here once again after we tested out the um, ISP connection. Now the first test with Zixel was on the living room and I do say first test because I did two and on the living room I was getting 83 megabits per second of downloads and 20 megabits of uh, uploads and on iPerf I got a connection of 81 megabits of um, bandwidth uh, uploads and downloads. So when I got this result 83 I was um, a bit confused and saying hey 
this has got to give me more. So I've got something here that is bottlenecking my connection. And I did, so that's why I made the second test. And the second test was on the bedroom. And as you can see on screen, I got a result of 92 megabits per second of downloads and 20 megabits per second of uploads. And by the way, 20 megabits per second of upload is the maximum that I have on my ESP. So that's why you are seeing um, that 20 megabits uh, cap. On iPerf, I got 108 megabits uh, per second, uh, which is the maximum speed that I could get from uh, the Zixel Powerline adapters. And this is a great speed, which we will cover in a few seconds. Now, to troubleshoot if this was a bottleneck or not, I did connect it directly to uh, my switch and as you can see on screen we got a speed of 94 megabits per second downloads and 20 megabits per second upload and regarding iperf we got one gigabit of connection speed bandwidth so this is not my bottleneck okay so i could rule that out and i'm going to make a small video regarding this for uh, people that might be interesting in this connection um, comparing to the Thunderbolt uh, connection. Now I also run another test as I mentioned before which was um, the direct connection of the iMac uh, which I got 94 megabits per second of downloads and 20 megabits per second of uploads and on iPerf we got a 1 gigabit of um, bandwidth up and down. So reading these uh, results which by on uh, by on its own uh, it's nothing but with all this comparison you can see that wi-fi speed is great if you are browsing on your laptop on your living room or bedroom or whatever wi-fi speed is great uh, but if you need actual um, high bandwidth or bandwidth to uh, for example stream a video high quality video which we are seeing on a channel on these android tv boxes and by the way i'm almost finishing this one so i'll upload soon you will need a lot of power and this is what Zix are going to deliver now if you see the results 100 on iperf uh, 108 megabits uh, per second is the um, maximum uh, speed that we're gonna get here and you can say hey Robert but if you connect it directly to your router you're gonna get one gigabit not 100 megabits but one gigabit and although that is true you will have to think if you have any device that can output that speed because we always want more and more and more well at least I do and mo many of you sorry uh, we always want more and more but the thing is do we use it and honestly in this office at this moment the if i give you an example my nash the fastest one that i've got at the back the ex2 wd ex2 outputs about 70 megabits per second up and down uh, so i can grab data out of there about 70 megabits per second i did test out a faster one which was the ex4100 it's all also in the channel and it was outputting about 110 megabits per second so that means that the zixel in this particular case this model which i will post the link below it will be capable of running all that speed without any bottlenecks so that's the first point that i would like to mention here although you can get a direct connection faster you will not probably have any device that can uh, sorry that can output all that data so this is great for those that want, don't want to run cables you will be more than happy with this speed now the second point that I would like to to mention here is that one of the major bottlenecks that you might have and that's a difficult one to um, turn around which is your own electrical uh, Power line. So as you saw, I did run two tests, one on the living room, I got about 80 megabits per second and one on the uh, bedroom, which I got about 92 megabits per second of downloads. And the best accurate result is not from the, the ISP, but from the iPerf, which really tests out uh, the network. And this means that I do have a bottleneck on my power line. Now, 
some of you might have newer installations and you will not have any bottleneck but for those that have a house with 10 years or 15 years which is my case uh, probably you're gonna get that different so you might have a different connection or a better speed on the kitchen and a worse speed on the toilet <laughs> so it doesn't matter but um, the point is don't be and not talking only about Zixel but any brand that you buy uh, you should that do that test before rent the brand because the product is made very well but our connection on our own can bottleneck these devices so this is the second point that I would like to to cover here and before I forget this is not a bottleneck as we saw before this is something that will um, I will not say a bottleneck but will uh, decrease our um, connection and although the tests were all made connection, connecting this the only test that it was not was on the living room which I had a free socket but to be honest uh, if you ask me hey Robert do you have many sockets on your wall oh no I don't uh, so or I connect a power line or I connect a TV or I connect a Android TV box or one not so I always have about four or five devices to connect it to one of these things and this is something that will give you a small hit on uh, bandwidth so what you are seeing on the results is um, always having in mind that to connect all these devices we're gonna take a bit of a hit so this is one of the things to consider also I would like to mention that the version that I've got here is the US version so I do buy uh, stuff from UK I do buy stuff from US and on this particular case I'm using a adapter so this adapter will also be uh, a point that will take a hit on performance so we will have to take attention to uh, these details and first the connection and these kind of things and these kind of adapters so probably if you connect it directly you're gonna get more uh, half megabit or one megabit uh, per second more so everything that we connect and this is the point everything that we connect between the adapter and the power line it will give us a small hit now another thing that I would like to mention is the cables that you use always use five uh, cat 5e or cat 6 or above uh, nothing below that because sometimes you have a great setup and you're going to ruin it with a cable so <laughs> this is another factor of uh, concern to um, to have the best performance possible on the network is not enough just to have a device or a accessory as you want to call it uh, to give us great um, performance we have to take in consideration all the network and that was the last point that I wanted to make before I mention uh, this which I already mentioned if you want to have the best quality possible on video streaming you will need something um, like this I have been have uh, I've been um, having a lot of questions regarding hey Robert how do I connect my device I don't want to spread cables just use something like this and the Zixel on this particular case the gigabit uh, power line adapter it is great for this kind of machine now before we wrap up I've got here a few notes that I would like to mention as well so the first one I already mentioned the Zixel this one here this model I didn't test any other model from uh, Zixel but I do believe that they will have the performance that they state because this one here states a gigabit connection and that's what we uh, are going to get now regarding bottlenecks I already mentioned all these um, adapters and uh, all this kind of thing so have that in mind spend a few uh, dollars pounds euros whatever in cables make sure that is uh, cat 5e cat 6 and you will be fine also I'd like to mention that real-world performance of your ISP and NASH for example on my household I've got 100 megabits of download and 20 megabits of upload that's maximum but uh, I can reach only about 94 95 uh, that's the maximum that I ever get even connected directly to the router so if we have in mind the real performance these devices are just great and lastly I want to say that these things for those that never tried are very easy to set up so you don't need to be 
uh, gluing your cables to the house and the walls and your wife being mad at you because usually they do if they see many cables and this is as you saw in the video just plug and play and plug in the cables and that is it guys so Hopefully this will help those that don't know what power line adapters are and this is an introduction video to, to you and hopefully, uh, hopefully you find that useful. And for those that already own power line adapters like I do, I do have a, a few sets of them, uh, this one is by far, uh, until this moment of course, of the recording, the fastest one that I've ever tried. And that being said, hope that you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate, just post them below on the comment section. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.